Hi guys, Tosha here, and this is my video response to Proper English, who built an uh, analog to binary decoder. And uh, he mentioned that uh, it can be actually simplified and compacted. So this is what I've done. And uh, this was my first attempt. As you can see, it's, uh, it's pretty compact, but um, did and uh, it's worked perfectly for all numbers except nine so if i set the input to nine uh, as you can see there is there is a glitch in minecraft right now so this wire is on is powered but this block is actually unpowered i can place a repeater here so you can see so this torch should be off but it's on due to the bug in minecraft right now and uh, i've set this uh, little circuits to demonstrate it so as you can see this works fine and uh, this is not and if i break this block repeater turns on and if i place it back so yeah mm, that is a bug um, so I had to do a second attempt and uh, I will show you what I've done it's right here so I made a more compact uh, decoder but still uh, the actual output is here, but uh, input is here, so the, un the output is uh, one block lower. And uh, if I want to, and if I want it to be on the same uh, level, but I had to waste two blocks of length. And actually, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight long per one bit. So it's still not compact enough for me so i made the third attempt and this is what i have accomplished so this thing is really compact and uh, it's totally enough for me but i still think that it can be compacted even more and let me just set time here So let's test it. I think, for example, 10. This is first bit, second, third, and fourth. So we got 2 and 8. This is 10 and uh, 7. Okay, first three bits. And for example, I don't know, 4. So uh, I tested this a lot of times, so it works, believe me. Um, now, I uh, actually want to build uh, just one bit of this thing, because they're uh, actually identical, and uh, show you how this actually works. So, I've set this line to test different signal strengths and uh, we will have uh, the input to our uh, converter over here so the general principle of this converter is or decoder if you want then is that uh, we will have four cells for each bit well the last thing not really a cell but whatever um, and uh, each cell will be responsible for one bit so the first cell is responsible for last bit which is eight this is four two and one so this cell will look if the signal is greater or equal to eight and in this case it will uh, set this bit to one and let me fix my weather here set this bit to one and uh, uh, 
pass the signal minus 8 to the next cell so for example if we have exactly 8 this cell with, uh, will set the bit this bit to 1 and uh, pass 0 to the next cell if we have and uh, if we have 10 it will set this bit to 1 and uh, pass 2 over here and uh, if we have 3 for example it will set this bit to 0 and pass 3 over here so how can we do that so there is two general cases the first is we just have to pass the signal further and we will do this over here we will pass it over here then in this comparator and then to this block to this wire and then to the output of the cell and uh, the second case um, we will be over here so in this case we have to determine if the signal is greater or equal to 8 and uh, we will have two subtractions for this over here and over here so over here we will have input signal subtracted from 8 we will set this hopper to output 8 like this and over here we will have 8 subtracted from the input signal okay so the output of this comparator is 8 subtracted from in the input signal so if the input signal is greater or equal to 8 then uh, this is the signal that we need over here so we place the block here and a wire here so we need to block this thing off if we have a signal over here and uh, the, the if we have a signal over here that means that our input is greater than 8 so in this case we will have to block this signal and pass only the signal coming from this comparator like this through this block and uh, we will actually have to turn this repeater on in one more case is w uh, when the input is in exactly 8 and this is what we need this comparator for so we will have a block over here and the block over here with a wire on it oops no I meant wire and the block over here for this wires not to mix so in this wire we will have combined result of these two comparators and uh, it will only be off if the input signal is exactly 8 because this is signal minus 8 and this is 8 minus signal so only if we have the signal uh, with strings of 8 we'll have this wire deactivated so we'll have a torch here and uh, it will be activated only if we have uh, signal strings of 8 and uh, this torch will affect this wire and uh, the second thing we need to do is to pass this signal to this wire we will have a repeater for it and then we have to pass this signal down like this so and uh, the cell is actually done mm, yeah I think that's it and so you will just have to 
build uh, two exactly the same cells except the mm, number of redstone here because these hoppers are set to output 8 and uh, in the next cell these hoppers are set to output 4 and then the next they are set to output 2 and is in the last cell we don't actually need this circuit because we have uh, just to put a repeater here because this uh, signal can be either 0 or, or 1 so if we place repeater we'll get what we want <sighs> so yeah I think that's it uh, if you want you can download this map in the description of the video and uh, I hope you like it and uh, s thanks for watching bye bye and no, I'm still here. I just forgot to mention that the output of the cell is right here. So if this cell is responsible for 8, like in our case, this is uh, the bit number 4, which means 8. And uh, so this is 8 over here this is 4 over here 2 over here and 1 over here so now it, that's really it and uh, have a nice day bye bye